Right, hey guys, so today I'm going to be taking a quick look at a game called Hyperdrive. I thought the trailer looked very interesting. It's a very stylized racing game that has just released in early access, so keep that in mind. There's a lot of missing features. Let's go ahead and get started. So there's a bunch of different cars we can choose from. It seems like the more you go to the right, the better the car. So it looks like the Speed Racer is probably the best car, but we'll start with uh, the Mini Booster and see how this goes. Uh, looks like there is a couple different cups, different racetracks, Space Loop, that looks kind of cool. So there's Practice, Time, and then Hyper. Not really sure what Hyper means, but let's start with Practice and then we'll move on to Hyper. Um, from what I've played so far, this game does have pretty long loading screens, so we'll be sitting here for a little while. Um, let me just minimize this, and should be good to go. I will say this game does have a pretty good soundtrack, especially once we get into the actual races. Um, it's hard to call this a racing game though, because you're not really racing against anyone, it's more of just a driving game. But uh, here we go. As you can see, it's very, very uh, overly stylized. I don't know how you would call this hyper style, um, but it does make it look like you're going super fast. And what in the world just happened there? Um, hold on. What? What the heck? Okay, so I'm driving on the guardrail. <laughs> I'm driving sideways. This is kind of cool. Um, how do I get back on the track, though? Well, I guess we'll just drive horizontally. Uh, seriously, how do you get back on the track? I don't think there's a way. Unless, oh. Oh, I just fell off the track, and now I'm free falling. Uh, okay, so it looks like I fell off the track. Let me see if I can restart. Um, okay, my wheels. <laughs> the wheels are above the car, okay. I was gonna say, what's going on? Yeah, it looks like every time you go through a ring, you get a little speed boost. You go so fast, or at least it feels like you're going fast. I actually really enjoy the art style. I think it's uh, really interesting. Although, I really hope the developers decide to add like AI racers that you compete against or something. Because right now, it's just... It's just driving. Like, there's no objective, there's no laps. This is practice mode, so we'll try out a uh, hyper mode, I guess. And it seems like when you hit something, the gravity, there's like no gravity in the game, so you can just, like, keep flying even though you hit something. Let me just try to get back on the track. Yeah, you can, like, fly down. Okay, I'm pretty much just flying. <laughs> just landing on this block. All right, this is very, very odd. Let's try a different uh, racetrack out. Maybe this one is still like in testing, so we'll quit. And I don't know why, but it takes a long time to quit out of games. There we go, so we'll start a new game. Let's try the fast car, either the F1 or the Chrome. Hmm, let's try the Chrome, then we'll try the F1 cars. So there's a bunch of different ones here. Let's just go with the first one. That's probably the most like fleshed out track and we'll play on Hyper. Looks like there is going to be leaderboards in the future. I don't really understand what it means by Hyper. Like, what does that mean? This game is, uh, I think, $5.99 on Steam. I think it's on sale, so you could probably get it for like $5. It'll probably go on sale for like a bigger discount in the future. So it's really just a game about going very, very fast. <laughs> um, there is no laps. There's a round one out of one. And why is the camera so far away from my car? <laughs> I don't understand. I guess the further away the camera is, maybe the faster you're going. That's my only guess. I guess we'll go right. I actually really enjoy the music. Kind of like rave music. Electronic. Zoom! There's no sound effects either. It's kind of discouraging. Hopefully they'll add sound effects in the future. <laughs> I'd really love to hear like what the car sounds like. Wait, what happened to the track? Did I go the wrong way? That's kind of weird. Whee. 
Round one out of one. What does that mean exactly? Does it just mean one lap? Um, that was the finish line. Okay, so maybe I went the wrong way. Let's try another lap. <laughs> this game is, like, very confusing. It's cool, like, you have to admit, the style is cool, but I just don't exactly understand what the point is. Like, what's the objective? They really need to add at least, like, one other car that you're racing against to make it seem a little bit more interesting. Alright, so I took the left path this time. Maybe it's a little different. I think they did say they're adding uh, split-screen support, so it should be at least local multiplayer. But I don't understand, like, what am I doing? Okay, seriously, like, what am I doing? <laughs> Let me try to, like, um, I don't know, let's just try to go out of bounds. Okay, you can't- okay, there's no gravity in the game. <laughs> you can go straight up mountains, and you can literally fly. Whee! <laughs> That's kinda cool, maybe we can get up the mountain, I mean the uh, bridge. I'll try to launch off this mountain. Oh, never mind. I hit something. I wonder if you can just go like straight up the bridge. That'd be kind of cool. This game was made in Unity, by the way. I always like to point that out because most of the bad games on Steam are made in Unity, and it's like no shocker that uh, this game <laughs> really isn't that uh, complete. Oh, no, can't just go straight up. All right, so we're done with that. Let's go ahead, quit out again and we'll play one more race with the faster car. Um, yeah, I just don't understand the concept going on here. It's it just like a driving game with uh, just random tracks. I <laughs> like, that's all I can think of. Okay, so the Speed Racer. Castle Fornification, City Hassle. Danger Zone, Checkmate. Read a book, The Meaning of the Universe. Sound of Speed, Hyper Tunnel, Space Loop, show me what you got. So that's from uh, Rick and Morty. It looks like it's a black and white stage. I think I'm gonna go with the Danger Zone. Let's see what this is about. We'll play on Hyper again. I really don't understand the difference between Practice and Hyper. I guess on Hyper you're timed. Maybe maybe this is like a speed running game. You're trying to like get a better time to get on the leaderboards. <laughs> but so far it seems to be extremely unfinished. A little bit buggy. Um, they really need to add some sound effects and possibly rework the game. Cause wait, what is this? Like I don't even know what I'm. Where's the race track? Am I just flying now? <laughs> I I'm literally just flying into lava. Where? Where's the track? Am I missing something? Am I just racing through... I don't... I can't even understand, like, if there's a racetrack even here. I don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> uh... We... Okay. I'm sorry, but we have to try one more track, because, I don't know, that was, like, completely broken. I didn't even know if there was a racetrack. <laughs> just, like, a random level. Alright, let's go with the... let's go with the buggy. And... Hmm. Actually, let's go with that uh, Rick and Morty level. Sounds kind of interesting. Show me what you got. That was the episode where there was like... <laughs> I, I don't know what they were, I kind of forgot, but it's like planets and there was like some sort of like intergalactic like game show where Everyone had to, like, sing a song. I don't know, it was interesting. <laughs> um, but, we're waiting. Yep, it is black and white. Whee! And the gravity is just so messed up. <laughs> like, it, it honestly feels like I'm sliding across the stage. And every time I hit something, I just, like, go flying. I 
I mean, it's an interesting game. It's unique, to say the least, but it really needs some more work. They probably should have waited a bit to add, like, AI um, to the game before they released it on Steam. Like, what is this? <laughs> I don't even think I'm supposed to be up here. I don't think I was supposed to launch off of that. But maybe I was. No, I'm supposed to be below, I'm pretty sure. Unless that was some sort of crazy shortcut. I don't even know what I'm on right now. Just like an invisible barrier. Okay, so this is the track. And I'm racing on this like side rail that's like invisible. <laughs> All right, I, I think I'm done with this game. Uh, this is just a quick look at, uh, what is this game called again? Hyperdrive the Insane something. <laughs> Uh, Hyper Live, Hyper Drive the Insane Gravity Race. I guess it is an insane gravity race, but uh, they really need to work on it. Uh, the gravity is like almost zero. You just go flying off the edge. Uh, you can just scale up mountains. I mean, I don't know. It's one of those games that really isn't finished. When I think of an early access game, I think of something that's like almost complete, but needs a little bit more time to finish. This is something that's like a prototype. Like, this shouldn't be on sale quite yet. Uh, it's an interesting concept that developers can flesh it out a little bit. Maybe it'll become better in the future. But at its current state, I really wouldn't recommend it. So thanks for watching, and have a nice day.